Welcome to a new playthrough. Today we're going to be playing Catherine Full Body. And I feel like I should get this out of the way. This playthrough will be intended for mature audiences only because of... Mainly because of the th themes of the game and just... This game can get really, really wild. So yeah, if you're a younger audience member watching this, I suggest you watch another video of mine. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. So yeah, we're going to be playing Catherine Full Body. And we're going to be playing it on normal mode too. And I'm also going to be playing it on... I'm gonna be playing it on classic mode because remix mode sucks. I played remix mode on the demo when it came out back in July of 2019. It was awful. Yeah, I do not like remix mode. So yeah, we're, we're gonna be playing classic mode. And for the record, I have played and beaten the vanilla version of Catherine. I played it on my PS3 back in 2011 when it came out. Well, I played the demo of it back when it came out. My brother and I, we thought the demo was interesting. And I would play the demo of it a year later. Hold on, this is loud in my ears. I played the demo of it a year later in 2012 when I was in middle school. And I was always trying to beat my record, beat my time, try to get the highest score possible. While trying to outrun the, the boss in the second level. But yeah, I wouldn't be able to play Catherine until seven years later when I was 19 years old, which was last year. And, uh... <laughs> It's an amazing game, and I'm glad I waited seven years to play this game, because I don't think I would have gotten any of the larger themes at hand at 12 years old. Or <laughs> so I'm glad I waited to play this game. Alright, let me let this cutscene play out, then I'll commentate more. Mmm. Mmm. Full-bodied wine is the best. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> when the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? Once again, your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said... This is Catherine, but with a fuller body. It's aged nicely, with a sensual flavor, not unlike a fine wine. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. But one day we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Perhaps he'll take a road less traveled. <laughs> his outcome depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. It's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain. Now enjoy the show, until we meet again. Alright, uh, now this game is very cutscene heavy, and because I want to at least interject some of my own commentary, I will be pausing during these cutscenes in case there's something that catches my eye. Alright, so let me shut up once more. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
No, 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 I do not want to get copyright claimed. Let me turn down the volume on this. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, I'm already fighting off a bogus copyright claim for Bakami Tai in my Yakuza Zero playthrough, which, let me tell you, I do not remember playing that song. Ever. In any capacity on that playthrough, so I think that was a bogus claim followed by uh, some weird company out there. Oh, yeah, this is Catherine Fullbody. And I also want to give a shout out to my homie Terry for lending me this game. He was letting me borrow it for the sake of this playthrough. And I've been meaning to get to this for a while now. <laughs> and I also like that they made this into an Acid Jazz remix too. <laughs> really, really amazing. Acid Jazz is one of my favorite genres of music. Alongside regular jazz as well. Oh man, this game is wild. Not only that, but I also got to play this game around during while I was going to Otakon 2019. This the demo for this came out while Otakon 2019 was in full swing. I think on July 26th or the 27th. I think I think it was on Sunday on the last day of Otakon. But either way, <laughs> man, I don't like remix mode at all. Not my favorite. Soyjima and Shoji Maguro. These two have carried Atlas on their backs. Well, there have been a lot of other people that have carried Atlas on their backs, too. I don't want to discredit anyone, in case you guys are wondering. That'd be terrible. Produced by Katsura Hashino. Alright, so now we're gonna get introduced to the first level. As a matter of fact, this first... The tutorial section actually mirrors... Not mirrors, but the tutorial section was the was the what the demo showed and then it showed um either i think it was three levels the tutorial uh one regular level and then one boss level all right there's vincent all right <laughs> whoa uh. Is this place? I like the designs of these blocks too. That's one of the things that's not really talked about. The designs of these blocks. I don't get that. What? Okay. All right. So this is a puzzle game, and your job is to make it all the way to the top without dying. Pretty simple. Hurry up and Who are you? Where is that guy's going to be helping us for the for the first few levels of the game. Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die! Are you fucking serious? The ground is collapsing beneath you. Hurry and climb to the top. Alright, pretty self-explanatory. Hurry and climb to the top. By the way, uh, Troy Baker does a really, really good job at climbing. Uh, you can climb one block at a time. How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the X button and move it with the directional buttons. Some blocks can be moved, while others cannot. So be sure to experiment. If you make uh, a mistake uh, with a block, you can press the L1 button to undo it. Alright. Anyways, if I could talk without getting interrupted for one moment by the tutorial, what I was saying was that Troy Baker did a phenomenal job at playing Vincent's. Now, my goal for this playthrough... Hold on, I want to see if I can show these trophies without spoiling anything. Uh, let me see if I can sort them out real quick. Ah, uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. There we go, sort by original. So yeah, my goal here... Why was it flashing just now? That was weird. My goal here is to try to save as many people as I can, because every person you save, you get a trophy. And I also think that every person you save affects the ending as well. Alright. Anyway, let's move over here. No, let's move this block over. Uh-oh. Hold on, my fault, my fault. I'm messing up already. Hold on. <laughs> Been a minute since I played this game. I played this game sometime during the summer this year. Let me grab these coins too. And uh, now nah, I'm not. Even, I'm not even gonna attempt to get that gold. I'm just gonna try to make a beeline straight for the straight for the exit. 
But yeah, Catherine is a really unique game. With all its mature storytelling, its unique gameplay, I, I, I'm at a loss for words at how ahead of its... Well, not, I, wanna, I don't want to say ahead of its time, but just how unique it was in, you know, with where... What's with that? where mainstream gaming was, like, <laughs> 2011 was a year full of shooters as well. I'm not saying that shooters are bad, I play my fair share of shooters. Matter of fact, um, when I open up the trophy menu, you'll see that I have a decent percentage in Call of Duty World War II. Although I deleted that game after completing it, <laughs> after completing the campaign, I played some, some of the zombies mode. Okay, alright, sorry about that, my phone buzzed. <laughs> alright. And I don't think this game pauses whenever you hit the hit the home button. So I'll have to be wary about that, just in case. Alright. And with Catherine, you do and don't want to make take too many risks. There are some risks that are worth taking and some risks are just not worth taking at all. So yeah, you gotta be mindful when you play this game. Oh, hold on a second. Alright, grab this one. I also want to thank my I also want to thank my friend German, aka German Crayon, for helping me with the thumbnails of these videos. Shout out to you, German Crayon, if you're watching this, and go give German Crayon a follow on Instagram as well. His Instagram's in the description below. If we both make it out of here alive, uh oh. Meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec. When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you've almost reached the goal. Refer to the map located on the left side of the screen to see how much further you have to go. All right, so the bell's ringing. We gotta make a beeline. All right. Anyway, let's go. Uh, should I have done that? Oh no, I shouldn't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> see, I'm acting stupid already. I get nervous whenever I get nervous whenever there's a new playthrough I'm doing and I'm already screwing up. It always adds to the pressure. But this is the. <laughs> it's been months since I last played this game. All right, let's open the door. Let's see where this takes us. Heaven? <laughs> Uh-oh. That's... Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem later on. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly, Vincent. Alright, you survived. Now, how many blocks that you ascended depend... I mean, with how many blocks that you left behind, that goes into your score and that goes into your grading. Now you see that I got a bronze prize because I was messing around acting a fool. Now, a new game is about to begin. I'll be sure to prepare something extra special for you behind the next door. Let's meet again tomorrow night. I look forward to it. Now for any Persona 3 fans, that voice might might sound familiar. I'm not going to spoil whose voice that is. Actually, you you guys already know whose voice it is, but still. If you played Persona 3, you know whose voice that is. There are lots of Persona actors and actresses in this game. Uh, the guy that plays Sojiro Sakura is the narrator, as you guys just heard. He helps you with the tutorial. Oh, what a terrible dream. Uh, Aaron Fitzgerald is in this game. Uh, Michelle Ruff is in this game. Lots of, lots of wild voice actors. I mean, lots of famous voice actors in here. That's Vincent, and he has a studio apartment. That... That... <laughs> That looks like every studio apartment in San Francisco. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, flip phones were still a thing back when this Hello? game came out in 2011. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Ugh. Okay, sorry, that was just me twisting a cap. I was just drinking some sweet tea I have. But yeah, I kind of want Vincent's apartment. Like, it's it's the perfect studio apartment. It's not too big and not too small. Uh-oh. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything alright? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. Mm. 
I gotta say that Catherine is really beautiful. Just look at her. <laughs> the long blonde hair and everything. So are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like... Well, jeez, Vincent. <laughs> where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. God. <laughs> being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> okay, cat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Uh, oh man, how long has it been? It's been so long I can't remember. Okay, sorry for. In I told you guys I was gonna interject during these cutscenes, but with this little zoom in, I actually I was waiting for this to happen. Um, if you've played Persona 5, with this little zoom in, you can tell that this is the art style and animation style of Persona 5. Matter of fact, Persona 5 and, and Catherine both run on a similar engine. Persona 5 runs on a heavily modified version of whatever engine that Catherine ran on. I Someone once said that it was on the Gambrio engine. I don't know which engine it was. I don't even know if it's printed on the box because there are some games, well, a lot of games that show you what engine is printed on the box. Like, uh, you know, with the Battlefield games, it tells you it's on the Frostbite engine. And for some stupid reason, Madden is also on the Frostbite engine. A sports game on an engine intended for first-person shooters. That's always been strange to me. But anyways, that's just something I wanted to tell you guys about. Let's resume the cutscene. Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just... My mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah... I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose... Oh! <laughs> oh, man. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown. Pause. Now, what you guys are about to see here is one of my favorite shots in all of video games. It's one of my favorite. It's the way the camera moves throughout the bar. You'll you'll know it when you see it. Just and pay while attention. While are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been Hey, change it! The match is Oh, two beers over here. Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know? Oh, yeah, and if you listen closely into the background, that, that announcer... That's the same voice actor of the announcer from Persona 4 Arena when, during the arcade battle. Well, not during the arcade battle, but when he when he's about to when he's announcing which round it is. I also love how he just did that. How he exhaled all that smoke like he's Spike from Cowboy Bebop. Uh, the intro from Cowboy Bebop just has Spike take this small this small drag of a cigarette and then he just ex just spews out all of that cigarette smoke. Looks really cool. It's to me, like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but... Wow. You. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but... I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. 
I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not <laughs> interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm-hmm. Way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Oh. I'll see you later. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Pa Pause. Dang, I like... <laughs> Catherine, Catherine does a really good job of just taking the tone of whatever scene it's in, I mean, whatever scene's going on, and just making shit go from zero to a hundred in a minute. Like, just the way Johnny just out of nowhere says, yo, man, Paul's dead. So, you know, someone they, they went to high school with, just out of nowhere, he just blurts out, yeah, Paul's dead. Just goes from zero to a hundred. Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Pause. You'd think the news... You'd think the news would publish his name by then. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, there are, like, some laws that says you can't, uh, that tells you when you can or can't publish their name, but by then, you'd usually find out, like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow, too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> Well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Yeah, I have lots of those dreams as well. Just a dream you don't even remember. I mean, you don't remember what's going on, but you remember being terrified. One of those dreams. <laughs> They're pretty common. Not only that, but it, even then, I'm still able to remember bits and pieces of the dream. And if I'm lucky, I'm even able to remember what part of the dream that made me scared and I like, just jump out of my bed at night. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Where you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, oh, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? <laughs> Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Mm, see ya. All right, so now this is going to be introducing the mechanics of the stray, or I think it is. Yeah, this is going to be introducing the mechanics of the stray sheep. Okay. There's Erica. Oh, she hey, is the waitress of this bar. So, she managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem like such a good kid. And like Johnny said, there's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that, oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that, and why? Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. Well, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do they want me to find out exactly? I mean, okay all we know... Like... 
Vincent's not the brightest. Vincent's not the brightest dude ever. You want him to be a play detective and find out about a stalker? He can barely keep. He can barely keep himself hold a conversation with his own girlfriend. What makes you think he's able to crack the mystery of who this mystery stalker is? There's nothing really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start working here tomorrow, so I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. Aww. <laughs> All right. So here. Oh, hold on. Here is the first tutorial of the of the stray sheep. So, which you you'll get text messages from time to time. So these text messages, whenever you, how you respond to them, how you respond to each text message alters Vincent's form. I mean, Vincent's thought patterns and how he thinks and whenever you alter his, his thoughts it alters how a cutscene plays out so yeah make sure to keep in mind how you respond to a text message and for the record I'm going to be re responding as honestly as possible I'm going to be responding as if I'm in the situation myself and this game also offers also has like these polls that they do and I'm going to be answering those as honestly as possible as well all right so let's read these text messages like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising. Most of them are already married, and half of them are half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone, too. Alright. So let me tell you something. Catherine 2011. PS3, Xbox 360, Catherine, was frustrating to play. I mean, it was frustrating to text on this game. So what you had to do was you had to hit X to type out a reply. If you didn't like the reply, you had to hit circle and then type out another text to see if you liked that one. If you didn't like that one, you had to hit circle and so on. That was annoying. But now in this game, you get these little dialogue options and that's way better. Anyways, does it bother you? I worry about it too sometimes. Uh, maybe we should talk about this. There we go. Drive home safe, okay? <laughs> Aww. And let's send this message. Now, one thing, now for anyone that's played Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor, what you'll notice, if you look at my mouse right here, what you'll notice is that the UI looks similar to the cell phone UI that's in Devil Survivor 2. That's pretty interesting. And this, and Devil Survivor 2 came out around the same time as Catherine, uh, as Catherine did. It either, I think it was 2011 or 2012, I think. No, it came out in 2012 in the States. All right, let's send this message. There we go, that's that little compass thing. So, if it leans into the red, Vincent's gonna take Change here. Vincent's inner ideas. A meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember. Yeah, his words and actions will affect the story. Hey, how many years have we been together? <laughs> Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't wanna give her trouble. Well, yeah, one of the, but the, dang, man, Vincent just, <laughs> anyways, one of the major themes of Catherine is the society, is basically societal pressure to get married, you know, because a lot of, a lot of parents and grandparents, you know, oh, I hit, just, I just struck my mic just now, a lot of parents and grandparents, you know, there's all this pressure from, you know, from your parents and other people in your family to get married as soon as you can. It's a lot, and I'm and I like that this game tackles this theme as well. Are you out drinking again at the, at the Stray Sheep? You know you have work tomorrow. Take it easy, okay? By the way, I received a photo that was taken at the party we went to after the wedding the other day. It's of me being forced to entertain the crowd, but it does bring back some old memories. And here's the image. <laughs> she looks really cute in that. All right, let's reply. <laughs> Uh, how do I... Oh my god. How nostalgic. Sorry, all of these responses are terrible. Time really flies, huh? Well, take care of yourself. Oh god, Vincent sounds like an asshole with these responses. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. And the ending that I'm shooting for... I want to try to shoot for the best ending possible. I don't want to intentionally get the worst ending possible. 
And yeah, you'll also get phone calls from different people while you're in the stray sheep as well. If you pick up or hang out, it will it will sway your moral compass left or right. Yeah, what's up? I wanted to apologize for cutting our meeting short this morning. I don't mind. You had to meet with a friend, right? Yeah. Oh, it was a woman, just so you know. I think you knew her in high school. <laughs> it's okay. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. You have to go to work early tomorrow, right? Don't stay up too late. Good night. All right. Oh yeah, it is getting late. It's actually two o'clock that I'm filming this, and yeah, let me save my progress. Okay, and yeah, these are the files that I beat the game on. Well, this is the file that I beat the game on. Twelve hours, and this game is really, really short, so this playthrough is not going to have a lot of, not going to have a lot of episodes. All right, wait a second. 1347, is this carrying over the playtime from my completion file? Um, okay. That's awkward. Wow, there's a lot of people here. But this isn't really my crowd. Hold on a second. Who voices her? I, I... I've heard that voice before. I'm trying to remember. Uh, hi. Excuse me. Mind if I sit here? Hold on. Is that Risei's voice? Hold on a second. Now I need to grab my phone real quick. By the way, Boss looks like a Metal Gear Solid villain. I don't know if I've told you guys that. If the, when the camera zoom uh, pans back to him, I'm gonna try to pause it because he looks like a Metal Gear Solid villain. Okay. Uh oh, we're back to the nightmare sequence. I'm also playing around with the audio sliders on OBS, just so you guys know. That's why the audio level keeps going up and down. Because I'm indecisive as hell about the audio. And the audio varies depending on what game you're playing on the PS4. Alright, and these are other players that have came, come to this part of the game. And it also shows you where someone died and how many people died in this part of the game as well. Tonight's, de tonight's deaths are 1,000. The prison of despair. Dream again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in, and then Damn, I can't remember. What's going on? Nonsense. <laughs> All right, there's gonna be more tutorials here. I think I'm gonna end the video after this. After this level. Oh, hey, these things. Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? Many blocks have unique characteristics, such as cracked blocks and immovable blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. All right. So now we got to be more cautious with these blocks. If I step on that block again, it's going to break completely. All right. And let's pull this one out. Oh, no, I didn't even need to pull that out. Okay, that was stupid. Yeah, uh, see, look, I'm, yeah, I'm making, yeah, th I'm acting completely stupid now. Okay, okay, all right, all right, let me get back on track. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm a little bit discombobulated right now. There we go, I was getting disoriented for no reason. That's all I needed to do. Okay, so let's push this block over here. Oh, I didn't even need to jump on it. Yeah, we can hang from blocks. If you can't find a clear path to walk, try looking for a new path along the edges. You'll drop down to the edge whenever you run out of footing while dragging a block. By crawling along those edges, you may be able to reach areas that couldn't be accessed on foot. Alright, so now we can hang off of blocks. Well, we've been able to do that still. <laughs> yeah, there's so many tutorials here. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Even without dragging a block, you can easily hang down by running off a ledge where there is no step down. 
This technique is vital to your success. Be sure to get comfortable with it. Okay, alright, alright. How many more, how much more tutorial stuff is there? Alright, let's climb up here, and these pillows give you extra lives. A mystic pillow. <laughs> oh, hiccups. Gather as many as you can. Alright, gather as many as you can. Alright, let's get these coins real quick. And let's... Might as well get this mystic pillow while we can. There we go. Alright. I want to shoot for... Oh. I don't want to shoot for that. Alright, so what I think I gotta do is I gotta pull these blocks out. Yeah, this game is also kind of a brain teaser, and that's what I love about it as well. Like I said, Catherine has the potential for a full-on sequel in the future. I think it, they could do it. Then again, they'd probably have to name the game something different because, well, you know, they're, the game's named Catherine, there's a character, there's two characters named Catherine. Do the math. Oh god, how am I supposed to do this? Alright, push this here. Oh jeez. Uh, oh no, I get it now. Okay, I get it. Okay, climb up here and then just jump. You've come pretty far. All right, there we go. I need to turn down the volume too. I'll see you at the landing. Who's everyone? All right, give me a second. I need to check the audio. All right, the audio sounds ideal. Let's continue. Hey, hey, wait a sec. Once you've crossed a checkpoint, you can retry from that spot. Be sure to run through it whenever you see one. All right. So now there are checkpoints. Just let's go over here. Uh, oh jeez. Uh oh. You know what? I'm gonna grab that little that gold. Might as well. It's worth grabbing. And it was easy to grab too. <laughs> yeah, the gold. You have to. There's so many elaborate tricks you, you need to perform just to get the gold in this game. It's crazy. Oh god. Oh no. Did I just screw myself? Uh oh. Oh, hold on, I get it now, I get it. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, I thought I, I thought I screwed myself over with that move. <laughs> uh, I was about to hit L1, and then I saw that I was good. Alright, safety bonus. I know, oh, I got a silver bonus, too. I think I got gold on one of these. Alright, so... <laughs> Yep, this is the landing area. I survived. Who, who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here is a sheep but me. Wait, I recognize that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Uh-oh. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. Yeah, that bell's been ringing for a minute, too. The there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. Every man I'm for himself. Uh-oh. No, 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 wait. You hurry too. Hey! You can't be serious. Yeah, in these dreams, it's do or die. When the icon is pink, you can talk to them. It grays out once they have nothing more. Okay, so you remember how I said I had to save some of these guys, right? This is how you save people in this game. What you have to do is you have to keep have to talking to them no matter what. Keep Maybe talking to them at every landing and exhaust all of their dialogue. Once you, once you exhaust their dialogue, you save them. And uh, without spoiling anything... Uh, I've saved quite a few people, yeah. Okay. Not only that, but these guys have a lot of interesting things to say, so it'd be best to... Like I said, it'd be best to save them and get some... And you also get some interesting dialogue as a reward. Alright. Okay, let's save... 
Okay, now my playtime just jumped to 13 hours. That kind of that kind of fucks up the the playtime for this run. I mean, for this playthrough. But okay. Now the first mistake I made when I played Catherine on the PS3 was not talking to anyone. Yeah, that's how I got everyone in in this area killed. Yeah, so if you don't talk to any of these guys, everyone will die. Well, not everyone, but if you don't talk to uh, certain people or just anyone, they will die. All right. And let's talk to this guy over here. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to use that next time. We're discussing techniques. They're the key to survival. All right, they're talking about techniques. Maybe this will be useful. Okay, and what's really oh, so I just struck my mic again. I was trying to raise my hand up. Uh, what's really weird is that you can control the game using the D-pad for some reason. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. Yeah, you just run around like that. All right, let's talk to this dude over here. So these guys, they will teach you techniques on how to survive. And in case you're wondering, no, they're not like they're not like these passive abilities like it's an RPG. You have to employ these techniques by yourself. When you feel they're uh, applicable, of course. Pyramid. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, the pyramid is the first skill that everyone picks up when they get this game. Like, it's just something that comes naturally. So, let's listen to it. Pull out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. Remember this basic technique. What do you think? Yeah, it is a basic technique. Mm, I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one too. Yeah, here's another technique. To explain the slider. The slider. Pull out two blocks vertically, then slide the bottom one over. Remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway even in tight spots. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? I think I did that. No. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. Oh, okay. All right. Not only that, but these are the most, you know, I've heard of people loose doing this thing called lucid dreaming where you can... Have, where you can force yourself to create all these crazy dreams in your head, just build a whole world, but like, these are the most animated dreams I have ever seen. And this is coming from someone that's had the weirdest dreams in his 20 years of living on Earth. Well, 20, about to be 21 years in two months, but still. Keep it together, man. You're quite virtuous, however, to be concerned about someone other than yourself, given our present circumstances. I'm going to reward you with an oil field. Oil field. Ah, my usual habit. <laughs> oh, this guy must be an oil tycoon. Let's talk to him again. I have here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've exhausted his dialogue. Let me exhaust the dialogue of any of the sheep Maybe here. All right. So it looks like the dialogue time. has been exhausted. So now what we're gonna do? Hold on a second, just in case, though. I don't see any clothes on this sheep, but still, it pays to. Uh, it pays to help. I mean, it pays to talk to these guys. That's all I want to know. Can you tell me? They told me to go up. Told me to go up. It's up there. All right. I don't know. Okay. So now comes the next part of the game: the poles. Now the poles. I'm going to be and now I'm. I need to. I feel like I need to remind you guys. I'm going to be answering these poles as honestly as possible. I'm not going to be trying to be. I'm not going to try to manipulate the poles just to get the best possible ending. I'm going to be answering these as honestly as possible. All right. So let's sit down, and we're gonna have hey, <laughs> we're gonna have that creepy kid from Persona Three give us these nice poles. To see you here. And welcome to the confessional. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. I guess you could call me its supervisor. I sense a force of change rising up. What exactly happened in the other world? I guess it doesn't matter. You lambs are all destined to die here anyway. What? We're ridiculous. But before I kill you, 
I want to determine the value of your life. So you'll have to answer some questions. Question one. What expectations do you have for your significant other? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches All right, what expectations do I have for my significant other? Uh-oh. All right. Uh, good person good personality. Why not? Because really like the relationship is not worth it if you're going to be toxic as hell. If you're just a horrible horrible person, I'm not going to be dating you. Fuck off. I told you. I'm just the super Okay. <laughs> Someone else brought you here. Yeah, no room for toxic mentality in this house. I know that for sure. You never know what people are actually thinking. Okay. To learn the truth, you must survive. Then you can think about what's going on here. Let's head to the next trial. All right, so let's head on to the next trial. Now, uh, that's hilarious. A confessional booth that has a rocket tied to it. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so now onward to the next trial. Okay. So, now these polls also have res have data from other not only just other players, but different but they also have survey results from men and women in their 20s and 30s. Now you'll see men in their 20s and 30s mostly answered good personality. Now, a lot of women also answered good personality, so we're yeah, so we're on the same footing. Although it's slightly Although slightly more guys, let me get my mouse here. Uh, slightly more guys seem to have answered good looks, but hey, still we're we seem to be on equal footing. <laughs> That's I, I like that. Okay. Tonight's deaths is one thousand. Okay. There's still more. Yeah, there's still more. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do one more level, and then I'm gonna cut the video. And I think there's more tutorial here, too. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I can climb this one. And I got an extra block. Nice. There are items str strewn about the... Th strewn about all these levels that you're gonna find from time to time. It's up to you when you should use the items. How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? Hey, don't run off ahead! Help me! Sorry, man. But I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb, too. Oh, yeah. As you climb, you'll run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember it for later. You can only carry one item at a time, but each one has a very useful purpose. Don't worry about using an item at the wrong time. If you regret it, you can always undo. Speaking... Speaking of undos, they took away... Jesus, man! A 3x3 three three platform will appear at your feet. This enables you to create footing even in tight spaces. Alright, speaking of undos, they took away all my undos from last night when I completed that level. And I'm not too happy about that. Alright, let's go and grab this gold right here. Alright, awesome. Uh, here, let's... Yeah, there we go. I was gonna try to... Uh, slide that block away so I could oh yeah you could also smack other people with your pillow too just to get them out of the way they will fight back and they will also knock you down in later parts of the game so keep that in mind all right and we're gonna slide these ones out here and we're gonna be doing hey we're doing the uh we're doing the pyramid thing nice uh I don't like okay good good that's good all right well yeah you guys <laughs> Well, yeah, you guys, let me know in the comments about the poll. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on. Restart that. Okay, I did not like that. Yeah, let me know what you guys not think, but, like, how you guys answer the polls, too. You know, what... Yeah, you know, how do you... <laughs> what's your reaction to some of the polls is what I'm trying to say. Because this game's pretty interesting. See, look, and people will also block your way, and that's annoying. And you can also get crushed to death by blocks in this game too. I've seen others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. This is a dog eat dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep climbing. What the hell is this place? How high does this damn thing go? I don't know. I wish I did. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, the, so yeah, the sheep are gonna start fighting now, and they're gonna get more fierce and fierce as the game goes on, to a point where they're really, really annoying when they fight back. It's 
Ugh. Now, these little brown blocks right here, these you can slide these out, but notice, these things slide out incredibly slow, so if you're trying to beat a record or something, I'd recommend you trying to slide these out only if you think it's necessary. See, yeah, see how long that took just to slide that? Alright, let me see. Ah, that, that's not gonna be good. Alright, let me undo real quick. Alright, let me do some... Yeah, let me undo these moves. Yeah, and I've seen some people draw comparisons to this game called Hubert. I think it's an... Well, not I think, but I know that it's an old-school puzzle platformer game from the 80s. And yeah, I can see why people would think that. And part of me feels like Hubert actually inspired this game as well. Alright. Now, my move is what I'm going to do... Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these two blocks here, and then I'm going to jump on top of this one. Slide these out. There we go. Awesome. I would have grabbed that, grabbed those coins, but I decided not to. Fuck it. Alright. Alright, okay. So, I hope there's another landing. Because I actually want to stop the video right here. Even though this is the first level, these some of these levels will drag on. Alright, another cutscene. It's you. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep... They're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. Well, what reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But... I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still... You're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Uh, hey, wait! Uh, great. At the landings, you could learn tips on how to climb. Alright, so yeah, the, the landings will show you how to climb. Well, not how to climb, but they'll teach you techniques on how to climb. And uh, you should take the, you should pay close attention to these techniques that they teach you because they're really really useful. I remember having to employ a few of them at the same at the same time too during this one level. I forgot which level it was, but it was probably like the second to last level or something. All right, so yeah, that's gonna end it for episode one of Let's Play. Uh, I almost said Yakuza Zero. That's gonna end it for episode one of Let's Play Catherine Full Body. Uh, make sure to click the bell icon to get notified on my videos. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord if you want to. And if you want to support the channel, make sure to donate to my PayPal or my Cash App. Links to everything will be in the description below. Thank you guys, and I hope to keep making more of these videos. See you guys later.